pull up on my mind, can't do it no more, can't do it no more, can't do it no more And I can't get away from hoes and I got shit up on my plate and I got feed all my bros and I got feed my kids Whoa, 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 whoa It's your boy C.K. Spazzin' and I'm back with another video, man It's early in the morning, sorry I'm out here looking like a busted and disgusted, you know what I'm saying? But time is it, man. Currently 9:38. I've been up since like six o'clock this morning, bro. Ah, look at your baby. Look at your butt. Yes, sir. Great white is coming together piece by piece, bro. I'm sorry I have not posted any riding videos yet, man. I've been waiting on parts. I've been going through some hiccups, man. But everything is finally coming together bruh let me go ahead and run y'all through everything that's been going on because i know y'all been like damn i want to see the bike bro where the videos at man and i got you i got you bruh i got you if you're new to the channel this is my 2022 jixxer 750 man first ever in the world to be stretched put the stretch kit on that thing check uh Oh my gosh, man. Can you see the difference that stretch made, bro? Dude, I don't think the camera doing it justice, but oh my gosh. This bike look fucking stunning, dude. Oh my gosh. Man, almighty, bro. Thank God. I, I can tell you, man, like, Dude, I am truly blessed, man. All praise to the glory of God, man. To sit here and have a bike that looked this good, or just a bike in general, bro. I am grateful for y'all. So I want to say thank y'all for tuning in and thank y'all for all the support, man. I, for real, from the bottom of my heart, I mean that shit. Check out. Check out. Oh my gosh. What y'all think, bro? Let me, let me let y'all look, bro. What do y'all think about the stretch kit on the 2022? Jixxer 750. I'm not gonna lie. I might be the first to do it, bro. I might be the first to do it, bro. I ain't seen not one other video. I know 2022 Jixxer 750 with a stretch kit on it. I have not. I done my research, bro. I think I might be the first to do it, bro. Spaz our crew. We did it, bro. We was the first, Spaz our crew. We the first. We the first, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay y'all up on everything that I've done since my last bike riding video, bro. If you watched the if you watched the upgrade and update video before this one, then you know what all the stuff I have done. But I'm gonna let you know what I have done to the bike, and that way y'all know. Am I look nasty, man? But that way y'all know what's done to the bike, and I'm gonna tell y'all how I did it, bro. And I'm sorry I look like a mess, bro. Woke up, brush my teeth, I ain't do nothing with my head, bro. It look nasty. As y'all already can see. The bike is stretched. It's stretched and it looks good, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the stretch kit since I started the video off talking about the stretch kit. So what I did was I ordered a stretch kit, man, a four and a half to nine inch stretch kit off eBay. Got it in the mail. Took off my rear wheel, got everything, put it on there, man. And when I first put it on there, I had it set to the longest, like the longest stretch it can, this stretch kit can do. And I'm gonna be honest, man, I did not like the way it looked, bro. I didn't, it, it just felt like it was just too much space in this area and then wheel. It was bike, space, wheel. I didn't like it, man. And so I did order the lowering links, right? But I'm gonna get to that after that. This, that's the whole other conversation. I'm gonna get to that after I talk about this. So I put the stretch kit on there. I had it set all the way to the end notch. I don't know if y'all can see that. I can't see because the sun is bright. But you see these notches? I got it set on the fourth one up, which look fucking amazing. That's a perfect amount of stretch, bro. At first, I had it all the way back here. I didn't like the way it looked. I'm going to be honest, man. It, it just looked too long. Like, I want my bike stretched, but I don't, I don't want a limousine. You feel me? I don't want a limo, bro. I want to, like, look at that. That is the perfect amount of stretch, bro. Where I can still lift it up, do wheelies, and it look good, bro. I'm about to let y'all know what I did next, or tried to do next. So, 
I did buy the lowering links for my bike, right? Let me go ahead and show y'all. Here. Y'all can see. Vortex lowering links, man. I tried to install them, bro. I tried. I couldn't. I took the bolts off. I even went and bought a breaker bolt and everything. That bolt right there is the is is a pain in the ass. I ain't never had to untighten the bolt that tight, bro. So I went and bought a breaker bolt. Got all three of them off because it's three of them. See if I can get them on the camera. It's one at the bottom. One upwards a little bit. It's three bolts. One at the bottom. One at the top. And then one down at the middle. The problem I came across when I was trying to take off my lowering links, right? I got them all loosened up. I got them everything. I got them all loosened up, you know, ready to take off, man. That way I could drop my bike, put the new ones on. Then I come to this problem, bro. So I'm, I'm letting you know now. That way y'all know if it ever come time when y'all putting y'all lowering links on, y'all know what problem to look forward to. And then and, and just go ahead and stop right there and just try to figure something out whether you send it to the shop or what. But the problem I came across is that bolt right there to the right. Whenever I unloosen that on that side to get the bolt out, you have to pull the long bolt out from this side. And it was hidden on the exhaust pipe right there. It was hidden on the exhaust pipe. So it's not enough room for that bolt to come out all the way, right? So... I couldn't do nothing about it. I'm not finna bend my exhaust pipe. I'm not finna do nothing about it, man. I, I'm sorry. Honestly, I just said, fuck it. I'ma leave the bike how it is. I'm not finna go pay no shop, no $300. Bend my bike. No, I'm not. So, but, but my thing is, the point I'm getting to is that, bro, when I had it stretched all the way out to the, to the furthest length on the stretch kit, it, I didn't like the way it looked, bro. It was too, too much of a space, too much gap. And my bike looked more higher up. Like, it looked like I needed to lower it. Like, when I had it stretched all the way back, I needed to lower it. I, I was not riding it looking like that because the bike set up, looked like it set up like this. But when I put it back up to the fourth one up, I, I like the way it looked more. I, don't, I like the way it's not so long, but you still could tell that it's stretched. But it actually don't look that bad. Like, I don't need to lower it at this height. That's my personal opinion. Y'all may think... Some of y'all may feel like, man, you still need to drop it down, which I do feel like, you know, I would like to drop it. But, bro, I don't mind it looking like this, bro, because it actually looked like it, 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 it belongs that way. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it looks like it's supposed to be like that. When I had it stretched out all the way, it was like, all right, yeah, I needed to lower it in order for that to look good, bro. But I, like I said, I didn't really like the way it looked all the way stretched out. Now, some people do, but on my bike, I just didn't, bro. I just did, and I kept it like that for a couple days, and just kept thinking, like, man, I look at some pictures, like, man, I don't know if I really fuck with it, bro, and that, 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 that right there alone is, was enough for me to be like, all right, I'm not going to keep it like that, because I keep telling myself, I don't know how I feel about it, but now, it, it's perfect, bro, it's, it's a perfect amount of stretch, I don't need to lower it, yes, I could lower it, but, bro, it do not look bad, and the camera may make it the camera may make it look more high than it actually is because it's not like I'm looking at the screen on my camera. It do look like it's a little bit up and it could use a stretch like I mean a lower, which it could like I said, but in person, bro, it's really perfect. It's leveled out like I don't need to lower it at all. You know what I'm saying? Like me lowering it would just be something extra, but bro, it looks perfect, bro. The stretch kit is on there. I put it up to the fourth notch up. Fourth notch Fort notch to this way, to the right. And it's the perfect amount of stretch, bro. I, I don't want to move it no other way. I'm going to keep it exactly how it is, man. And that's what I got done, man. And as y'all can see, the 2022 Jixxon 750 is stretched, bro. And, bro, please comment down below. Do you like the way it look, man? Because I'm in love with it, bro. I am. I am in love with it, man. I am truly in love with this bike, bro. Like, it is, it's crazy. It's stretched enough to run people, race, catch grip, and go. And it's not, it's not long, it's not too long to where I can't pop wheelies on it. Which I'm not going to do too much popping wheelies because, I mean, that is a boat on. It's not like a, you know, a, a whole new swing on, you know what I'm saying? So, 
Not the safest to be doing wheelies, but I'm just saying if I wanted to, I could. Next thing what I did to the bike, as y'all know, if y'all watched the last video, if you didn't go ahead and check that video out, then come back to this video. That way you be in a loop, in a twine, and you not feel like you jumping around. You know what I'm saying? So if you haven't watched my last upgrade and review video, go check that out, then come back, watch this one right here. This is part two. So next thing y'all did that y'all know, I went and got my, my ECU tuned by Mori Mafia, man. And it came back in the mail. I put it back in, I got my ECU back in the bike, started it up running, shooting flames, sounding good. It even sound different, bro. It even sounds different. I wanna start it up for y'all and I know y'all waited, man, but I gotta have y'all wait until I'm actually riding the bike, bro. I have to, man. Y'all just wait just a little bit longer, man. Just a little bit longer. And I cannot wait to ride my bike, bro. I have not ridden my bike in over two weeks now. It's been too long, bro. I'm ready to ride, bro. I'm itching, bro. See you back for more Mafia, man. Put it in a bike. Got everything situated. Got it started up. Did what I had to do. If you do not know, if you get a tune by more Mafia, man, Look, let me, run, let me run it down for you. So, I'm not sure if he'll send, if he'll tell you to do this, if you still keep your Cadillac converter on there, but nine times out of 10, you get in the tune because you got, you got, you cut your cat off. So, I got an M4 slip on exhaust. I deleted my Cadillac converter, straight piped it all the way. I sent my tune out. When he sent it back, he put, he put on a paper to unplug your O2 sensor. You don't have to take it out, just unplug it in the gas tank, just follow the line, and unplug it in the gas tank. And I guess that's so it won't pop up on the screen. So you have to do that. So I didn't know I was gonna have to do that. So and that plug was a pain in the ass to disconnect, man. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. So if you do that, if you if you cut your if you put a slip on exhaust and you and you cut your cat off, you're gonna have to unplug your O2 sensor once you send that ECU back that's flashing tune. Alright? Now as y'all can see other problem I came across and this is the only reason I'm not riding my bike right now because I would been I would be riding my bike right now if it wasn't for that damn chain bro <laughs> but it ain't the chain fault it's my fault man ah man I would be riding my bike right now if it wasn't for that went on there ordered this $300 ass chain and I ordered the wrong size chain not the wrong length but the wrong actual size like I guess the diameter the space in the middle I ordered the wrong size and it's not it was not gripping onto the sprocket and I could just I was as I was putting it on why is it not sitting flush I went on Google I looked at the one I purchased and I was just like damn so I had to buy another one so I'm currently waiting for that one to come in the mail as we speak I'm thinking that it's gonna be here today because I ordered it Saturday the last one I ordered this the chain that I have now I ordered it from the same website I ordered it and I got it to ship to my house like two, two, two days later or three days later. And so I'm hoping the same thing, fingers crossed, I'm hoping the same thing is with this next one, man. Because I ordered the, I ordered the new chain, the right size chain on Saturday. It is Tuesday right now. So I'm hoping that it come in today, if not today, tomorrow, man. Because I want to bring y'all some footage, but that's all I'm waiting on. That's why I say just wait a little bit longer and I'll, I'll let y'all hear the bike, how it's sounding. And everything is, dude, it's a difference, bro. I'm not being over dramatic. It is. That's my problem I'm waiting on. That's the only reason I'm not riding a bike. Other than the chain, all I got left to do is just bleed my brake line. Because this, this line is full of air. And I'm going to reposition it. That way it's not so close to the wheel and shit. But, yeah, I got to do that. Bleed my brake line. Put the chain on there. I'm good to ride. Uh, other thing I did was... I put LED lights on the bike. It's gonna be kind of hard to see in the daytime, man, but I put LEDs on the bike all the way around. High low, high beam, I mean low beam, high beam, the two pilot lights on the side right here. Put LEDs in my blinkers front and rear. Uh, let's see if you can see them. Probably not gonna be able to, but yeah, man, I did wash it up. She looking clean. She was greasy, man, because I've been working on her for like fucking weeks straight already. Well, I ain't gonna say a week, but like I've been working on her for like four or five days, but for sure. So she needed a wash, man. Finally set my damn shifting uh my shift lights on my bike, bro. I don't know why it took me so long to do that. I just did that today, man. But I set my shift lights on my bike. Whatever, whatever. Uh put a little vortex sticker right there, man. 
I don't even know what to say, man. I, I just really want y'all to see this video, man. When I sit on this bike, it's going to drop down even more. But even when nobody on it, it, it still look killer, man. I don't care what nobody say. You cannot tell me this bike do not look good the way it is. This bike look amazing, bro. But here you have it, man. The first ever 2022 Jixxon 750 with a stretch kit on it, man. How y'all liking it, bro? I did good. I think I did good, man. Appreciate y'all for tuning in on today's video, man. It was a quick and easy one, man. Just a little update of what's been going on. What to look out for, what's up and coming. Hopefully the next video I post, I will be riding the bike. Next video I post, I should be on the bike, man. So y'all stay tuned for that video. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Thank you for all the new subscribers. Thank you for all the new supporters, man. It's your boy, CK Spazzy. Sorry I'm looking busted and disgusted, but man, it is what it is. It's in the heart out here for a pimp, man. I'll catch you on the next one. You did.